Now, if you have frame damage on your vehicle, is it possible to repair that damage and realign the wheels so you have perfect track down the road? And the answer is yes. Now, let me explain what happened in this case, the process and what I came across, and hopefully you can learn from this if you're looking to do this on your vehicle. Now, this vehicle was involved in a collision accident. Now, not in the normal sense that you may be thinking with another vehicle. But in fact, this vehicle was in a really bad rainstorm and the vehicle hydroplaned. And when that happened, the front passenger side took the blunt of the force. Unfortunately, the wheel was destroyed, the tire was destroyed, but worst of all, the front subframe cracked in a number of different places. And as you can see here, once I started to remove some parts connecting to the subframe, it was almost like shredded cheese, just parts started coming apart. So it was a really, really bad hit. But fortunately, we were able to remove that front subframe and replace it with another unit. Now I did not purchase, and this is important because you may be coming across this on, on a vehicle that you're working on, everything here was pretty much used parts. I didn't buy a lot of new parts. So the subframe in this case came from another Acura TL. Uh, you can purchase these parts brand new, but in my case it would have cost well over $1,000 with the freight shipping. And fortunately I did find someone local and I was able to pick up the part from another Acura TL for roughly $375. That worked out real well. Reinstalled everything, brand new tires all the way around, brought it to the alignment shop. So these are the initial results when I brought the vehicle to the alignment shop. As you can see, the front end was off also. When this front passenger side struck the curb, the rear must have swung around and also uh, struck the curb with some force. But as you can see, I had no damage in the rear, by the way. They were able to align the rear perfectly fine. Everything is in perfect alignment. The other thing also to note, I did replace the, the front lower control arm and the front knuckle because that was the point of impact. I didn't want to take any chances with those parts maybe being bent. So just as you do a repair like this, just be smart about it. Any really hard hit, go ahead and replace those components because you're just going to spend more time and money figuring out if you do have a problem somewhere else. Now before we wrap this up, one question I always get is cost. What would this cost to get done? And in this case, when the previous owner hydroplaned, he did bring it to his mechanic. And the mechanic quoted him something like 4,500 bucks with used parts, seven grand with brand new Acura parts. The vehicle is 13 years old. The owner decided just to donate it and that's how I came across the vehicle. Now I think in my case, I was rather lucky. And that's because there were no body panels that had to get replaced. It was just chassis, just components underneath the vehicle. And if you do need to start painting and replacing panels and welding, it gets incredibly expensive very, very quickly. In fact, that's why a lot of times insurance companies just total out the vehicles because it's going to cost more than what the vehicle is worth and they just get rid of the vehicle, call it a day. So expect to pay a lot of money if you do plan on bringing your vehicle to a shop to get done. But nonetheless, I just wanted to share my experience and you know hopefully if this helps out one person it's well worth the time in my opinion so thank you for watching we'll continue to i do want to do a follow-up on this acker just in terms of I, i've had some messages on how does it drive is does it drive well and everything else it does drive perfectly well but i'll take it for a test drive with you guys so you can see what's going on and i'll go over the features and things like that shortly but that being said thank you for watching